Cody Askins, the man. He's uh, going to be speaking at the Digital Life Insurance Agent Mastermind on Saturday morning. And uh, for those that don't know you, who live under a rock, who haven't seen Cody Askins before, uh, why don't you tell everybody who you are and what you do? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you having me. I'm super excited for the event. Uh, excited to meet everybody that's going to be there as well. So, so I've been in the industry for just over a decade now. I got started when I was uh, 20, 19 as an intern, 20 as an agent. Um, I made $117,000 in my first eight months selling life insurance door to door, cold. Okay, it's about as hard as it gets. Fell in love with the industry. Um, fast forward, I started putting out videos to help others. I always enjoyed training and helping agents, even as a brand new agent. And so I started putting up videos about five and a half years ago. We now have about 35,000 um, YouTube subscribers or a little more. And we're putting out content every day to help the industry. Uh, we have several different companies that will do um, in excess of 13 million bucks this year. And I love and 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 like kind of like you with all the web stuff. I I, I geek out and like uh, on on the sales team side, you know, managing and building sales teams within our organization. So that's what I love. That's what I'll be speaking on as well. Yeah, yeah. So why don't you touch on that? I mean, you've built an incredible. I mean, scaled a, a sales organization internally um, during COVID. It, you guys were remote, and you still were able to scale. Like, why? You know, talk us through your presentation. I mean, that's what you're going to be talking about for agents who have they. You know, a lot of agents think the the logical next step is to build an agency, right. and uh, and I think that's what you're going to touch on. Yeah, that's exactly right. So if you're someone you're like, okay, I'm a solopreneur, I'm by myself, or I've got a really small team, but I do, I want to blow this thing out, right? I want to scale this thing. I can tell you, you want to be at this event and you do not want to miss uh, my keynote because I'm going to be going through exact processes. Like we have an event right now, the next few days where people paid 5,500 bucks to be here. And I'm going to be giving a, the, a lot of stuff I'm giving them. I'm going to give be, be giving it to you guys because you paid to be a part of Jeff's event, right? So I'm going to be giving actual steps processes, onboarding, vetting, hiring, um, what we do to make sure we get people up to speed. What does the first couple of days look like when we hire people? Um, what are the day-to-day -day operations from a training perspective? Um, how do we track? How do we know every number and every detail? How do we know if we make money off, right? So a lot of those details that I'll be going over during my talk. Yeah, and that's super important stuff because a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people try and start call centers or agencies and, you know, a lot of it is about finding the right people and tracking the right things. And that's something that we're not taught, you know, it's something right. that's, you know, just because you are successful as a telesales life insurance agent doesn't mean that's going to translate to the person who is going to be selling for you. And those are the things that you're going to make sure people don't mess, mess up on as they, as they take that next step. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, I mean, most people think like, like you and, and others, you know, like we've, we always think I'm a great salesperson. So I, I can drag anyone to success. I can make anyone great, right? And that's not necessarily true. I, I used to not be as good of a business owner hiring people. I've got a COO that's phenomenal, like vetting people out, right? So I'm going to share some of his secrets as well. And so when it comes to like building a team and adding people, most people think really that businesses build people. I can take anybody and make them great. In reality, people build businesses. And so you need people, you need the right people, you need to know what to look for in those people. I'm going to tell you the exact several interview questions. I'm going to share what the exact things that I look for. Literally, I know, no, no joke. And, and I'm going to share this in, in my keynote. I know in, within the first literally 15 seconds when they walk through our door, if they will be, if, if my COO is going to have them back for a second interview, and I'm not even involved in the interview. I just know immediately and I'll tell the staff they'll be back or they won't be back. And it happened four times last week, and I was 100% correct all four times. Awesome, man. Well, this is going to be a great presentation. I don't think in the in the few years that we've done this, we've had somebody talk about this, kind of vetting people in the process of, of looking for successful agents. And I'm sure some will internalize it themselves, you know, yeah. you know, with, with their, you know, what you're looking for, personality and sales-wise and, and whatnot, is to see like, wait, would he even hire me? You know? Yeah, yeah. There you, go. There you, go. Like, you know what? We should do that. You know, I can pull up, pull people from the crowd and say, "All right, yeah. let's see how they would do." Obviously, they're there. They paid money. They're investing themselves. They're the right people. Um, but I think that's what that's what we've learned. You know, is, is that uh, what I'm excited to share is you need people, you need amazing people, and nobody really wants to ever do anything. That's what I've learned about people is nobody really ever wants to do anything on their own. Yeah. Like even though they may be on their own, their own then they may be successful. Why not have you know, like my goal, my dream is to have a four-story glass tower and maybe bigger 
eventually in Springfield, Missouri. Every different company, um, rooftop balcony, helicopter pad, like, and, and a thousand em employees, you know, it's like, dude, why not? You know, like I, I never really thought like this, but now that we're starting to scale out teams of people, it's a hundred percent possible for anyone at any time. Yeah. And that's the power of this mastermind because it breaks down barriers. You have a lot of people on stage that, yeah. you know, you think these things aren't possible, but they're no more capable than you are. Right. right. And it's just to see people do these things um, and, and, and that's the power of it too, is when you meet you, for example, or anybody on stage or any attendee or any, anybody who's at the top of the leaderboards, you're going to find out you you guys are no different. You know, there's, there's, uh, you know, there, there's just risk levels and, you know, what, what you're willing to do and, uh, building agencies. I think this is going to be a powerful presentation. I can't wait to hear it, Cody. So thanks buddy. I mean, what, what I've learned is it's all about providing hope to those that, that, but you're right. Anybody can do it. And I got to give you some credit real quick before we finish up, because you, the way you have developed um, and made sure that every single speaker is providing specific types of value and training perspective. I'm telling you, if you're someone that's going to be in the audience at the event, Jeff has your best interest at heart. The dude is vetting and making sure that every single speaker is providing exactly what they need to so that you feel like, dude, I got all the freaking gold. I got all the information. And so I, I've talked to a lot of event planners, promoters, et cetera. Uh, this dude knows this stuff and he's making sure that every single attendee, it's the absolute most value every single time. I think, thanks for saying that, Cody, because, you know, the, that, that was big is to vet the topics to make sure that we're not going on, you know, somebody's coming on stage and just you know, talking about general stuff that's not really actionable. I just want to make sure there's actionable stuff. And I understand that some people might not be into marketing websites, might not be into building agencies, might not be into XYZ, but there are a lot in the room that will, um, that will have some strong takeaways from, from this. So, sure. oh man, well, we're going to see you in a week or so and um, be hanging out for that whole weekend. Can't wait to see you. I'm excited. Thank you for the opportunity, Kay. And see all, all right. of you there as well. <laughs> all right.